Island style will make you smile. Tap ta da da ta da da da. Bush. Come join our experience each and every episode with Island style kitchen cooking. Yaksta the bush lads that. Wak laks kum skalai boom bututum bush. What's up, people? How is everybody doing? Give thanks and praise for life as usual. Welcome back to Island Style Kitchen. Yeah, man. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to Island Style Kitchen. All right. So today I'm here and I decided that I'm going to do a ribeye roast. Season it's season for over a week now, so it's well soaked. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to be cooking it outside and on my grill. So I want you to stay tuned and just watch how I cook my ribeye roast on a barbecue grill. All right, and the jerk pot, net, you know what I call it. You're going to see how I prepared all the seasoning and how I seasoned my ribeye roast. Yes, people, viewers and subscribers, here it is. Over here, this is the star of the show, five pound ribeye steak, yeah man, otherwise called beef. Okay, all right. So the seasoning that I'm going to be using today, over here, I have a tablespoon uh, this is actually two tablespoons of paprika. I have a teaspoon of black pepper, a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I also have two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of brown sugar. Over here, I have a tablespoon of island style mixed seasoning and also a teaspoon of chili powder. Over here, I have some green herbs. I have four cloves of garlic. I have some fresh thyme. I have some scallion over here, two stalk of scallion, and I have some chili pepper there. Over here, I have my mata. I am going to be using this to prepare my seasoning to rub my beef. If you have another name for the mata, leave it in the comments down below and let me know. Thank you very much. All right, so if you notice the beef, I'm not going to take out much of that fat. I'm going to sear the beef with the fat on it and the juices going to go back into the beef and make the beef nice and moist. All right, so I'm going to just stay tuned and watch what I'm going in the island style kitchen. I am going to show you guys how I prepare the seasoning and how I rub my beef. So first thing we're going to do is wash the meat, see? I'm using some vinegar. You know, Caribbean people love to wash the meat. Come on, meat have to wash. Nice rinse. People, I'm going to blend these seasonings together. All this green seasoning. So that is the scallion, the garlic, the chili pepper, and the thyme. I like to do it this way. You can put this in a blender or a food processor or whatever you have at home. This way, I like to do it. I like to do things old fashioned, you know. All right, so now that I'm finished blending this, I'm going to put them in a bowl and add all the other seasoning to it. I am going to add about two tablespoons of olive oil to this mixture. Going to combine all the other seasoning with the green seasoning. Make like a paste with it. This is the seasoning I'm going to use to season my beef. Taste it. Come on, season that's a one. Alright people, so I don't I don't want to add any water to this mixture, so I'm going to add a little red little wine here. I don't have red wine. If I have red wine, I'd have used red wine. But I'm using a little red wine to rinse this out. To get out all the rest of the season out there. Maybe that's just my excuse to add some red wine to it, you know, people. We're in the season now. Maybe you can try this for your Christmas dinner, because Christmas is coming up. Or the Thanksgiving dinner gone already, so... People who celebrate Thanksgiving, maybe you can try this one. You can just do it for a regular dinner. Or a special occasion when you have friends coming over. Yeah, so... In this up. Nice, we can give this another stir. 
think. I'm also going to add some soya sauce to this. Never tell you about this in the beginning, but as I go along, I'm thinking about other things to add to make this beef taste. But, mm -hmm. So it's time to add the seasoning now. What I did was I opened the beef. There were some little sections in here, so I opened it and I'm going to put some seasoning inside it too. And make sure everywhere seasoned properly, not just the outside of the beef. You see people season their beef, they just add salt and pepper to it and season their beef like that. I don't season my meat like that in Island Style Kitchen. Caribbean people love taste, the flavor of seasoning. Yes, people like taste this flavor of seasoning in our kitchen and our meat and anything at all that we eat. We want to taste the flavor of the seasoning. A lot of people I know, they like to taste the flavor of the meat. But Caribbean people like to taste seasoning. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put some on the outside. I could just pretty much pour everything on here. I might leave back some to make a sauce later on. Come on island style kitchen, you have to just get your pan into it and push the seasoning in every crevice and corner of the, of the beef. You can do this with pork too, you know. If it's a pork lover, you can do the same thing, same mixture, same recipe in the pork. I'm going to do a video on the pork one of these days, I'm not sure when yet. But if I do it, I'm just going to do it for you guys because I don't eat pork. I'll do it for call some of my friends and give it to them. So if you guys want the pork video, Leave it in the comments down below and I'll do the pork video for you. So I'm going to allow this to sit in the fridge and then I'll show you the next step. So all of you just stay tuned and go on and big up on yourself. Soon or soon. Alright, so I'm going to get this fire started. I need to get this grill up to 350 degrees. Yeah, this little thing here, lighter cubes, it work magic people. So, so I'm going to put two of these inside here. up and running fire light you can hear the cool them up pop so i'm gonna allow the grill to heat up i need to go to three at least 350 degrees or 400 degrees before i put the meat in there so i'm going to close this down and let it heat up all right yes people so right now check the temperature of the grill all right the grill is at 500 degrees as we speak people so right now what i'm going to do i'm going to put some water inside of the grill this is my pan here. I'm going to put this inside of the grill here. I have some boiling water I'm going to put inside here. All right. And now I'm going to put some of this hickory flavor smoke inside of the water. Just for added flavor, see? Hickory smoke. I'm going to use the steam from that to keep the, the, the beef moist all right yes people there it is the grill is really really hot i have my ikri i have my ikri smoke over here in the water yes people here is the beef this is a five pound ribeye rack so i'm going to go ahead and put this on the grill now all right so i'm going to start with the meat with the skin side down first wow you guys hear that that's just so beautiful all right people so i think one side is done yeah. here so i'm going to flip it over on the bone side now wow Just look at that color you want to see this people you should make a close-up look at this fat side sear nice and brown that's the reason why i told you earlier that i wasn't taking the fat off the meat because this is the result that I want. So I'm going to show you when I'm putting the meat on the other side of the grill to cook. Check the season, you know? Quality control. Really, really nice people.
Yes, people, don't mind the fire you now. I'm going to move the, the meat from here and I'm going to put it right here on the other side of the grill to cook nice and slow. All right, so you see the fire gone right down, people. So I am going to allow this beef to roast nice and slow and I'll come back and check on it in one hour time. Yes, peeps. It's been a little bit over an hour since the beef is cooking. So I'm going to check on the beef now and see. All right, so as you can see here, it's nice and juicy. And the, the, the pan is cooking at about 425 degrees. It's cooking. So there's a lot of heat in here still. And all the juice is falling inside of my pan there. So what I'm going to do now, so I'm going to flip the beef to cook on the other side for another hour. Yes, peeps, so we're going to get another check in now. I'm going to find out what's going on at the grill. You can see the juice falling off of the meat. Nice and juicy, everybody. So I'm going to close it back down and allow this to cook for another 40 minutes. Nice and juicy. Yes, people, there you have it. Everybody ready to be served. Come yeah, on, island style kitchen. So here you have it people, this beautiful rubai rock. Nice and juicy and brown. So I'm going to cover it up with a piece of file paper. I'll let it sit here for another 20 minutes or so. And then I'm going to carve it. Yes people, so here you have it. Beautiful ribeye roast. Nice and um, dark on the outside. Inside nice and juicy. You gonna see it on the plate shortly. All right, people. So it's about time to carve into this ribeye roast. So let's see what's going on inside here. Mm. Nice and soft and juicy. Mm. See, people. Nice on the inside. All right, so. Mm. I wish you guys could actually see this and smell it. I wish you guys could actually taste it. I want you to look at this. You see the juices in it? Still full of juice. All the juice falling out. Yes, people. So just look at this now. You see all the juices inside here still? Look at all of that. And we have a little bit of fat here. Yo, island style. See the cooking gone island wide. <laughs> Bling up. Island style, yeah, the bush pot settings Everything there, yeah, I tell and stew chicken Island style, yeah, real finger licking You know here say it's better than KFC chicken Island style, what you cooking? Smell it from the mile, now everybody looking Vegetable cut straight from the farm Island style, bush pot, you what that a gone What we doing? Cook, 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 cook Island style, where I go, yeah, cook all right viewers and subscribers here you have it island style kitchen slow cook ribeye yes man definitely go and try this recipe yeah man you see especially for the holidays like for christmas do something different outside of where your regular curry chicken and anything there you can go and try this ribeye roast yes and you don't have to do it in a, a outside grill like i did you can also do this in your oven however i chose to do it outside because i wanted it to have that smoke flavor because you don't know say the charcoal gives a complete different flavor all right so yeah man you see it here the sauce on here is a mushroom garlic barbecue sauce i have some garlic sauteed broccoli and asparagus here with some bell pepper and some mashed potato some avocado and here i have my red wine yeah man red wine always complements steak so right now i have my knife and fork people yes i know if you use knife and fork the knife in my right hand and the fork in my left hand mm -hmm. it's your easy to fall off the bone people and cut nice and soft mm. This is so yum for However, I don't have time for the knife and fire. So I'm going to show them what I'm going to do now. This is what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. 
best people. Mmm. It's a bad man. Mmm. Yeah, people. Oh yeah. And I can put them more. Mm. This is really, really good. Mm. Yes, people. This is so good. I wish you guys could try it. However, I'm a little far. So, right now. Mm. People, if you're new to my channel, and it's your first time watching Island Style Kitchen or if it's not your first time and you have a subscribe please hit the red button down below the button that says subscribe just hit the red button and show Island Style Kitchen some love please and thanks give this video a thumbs up yeah man oh, leave a comment and tell me what you think about this roast beef alright and if you have anything you want to share with me feel free to leave it down, down in the comments below yeah man my Island Style Kitchen appreciate your support a hundred percent you know when you give the video a like and leave a little comment youtube say that the channel is active yeah man thank you very much for the support so let us go and stay safe yeah man take care of yourself and watch out for the christmas cake video coming yeah man the christmas cake video coming next one love people island style boss here checking out now stay safe any kind of dish we are Cook, 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 cook Island style we are cook yeah. Cook, 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 cook